I've got a very full shed right now. And one of the main reasons is, uh, I, you know, I did the review on this Farmall 75C. And so I'm getting ready to do several modifications to it. And I'll have some videos on that. But what's really taking up space here is the baler. I got a round baler. So um, I'm going to have some fun getting this thing all working and uh, trying to bale hay for the first time. So I also have a little square baler too um, that we'll be trying out. But this year is the year we make hay for our cows. And we're trying to really get to, um, I don't know, 12 to 20 cows in our beef cows in our herd. And we just thought, you know, we've been having other people do hay for us. Uh, and I thought, well, why not try it ourselves? So got this thing used. It's a 2004 um, BR740 New Holland round baler. And not exactly sure how many bales have been through it. It is in really good shape so far that I can tell. I'm going to put some new belts on it. And got a few teeth to replace on the pickup down below. But otherwise... I think it's a pretty good, pretty good um, deal that I got. We'll find, we'll find out when we're bailing with it. Hopefully it works right. So here's a look at the back. The belts I think are in overall decent shape. From what I can tell, there's a few uh, gouges and nicks in them, but we're gonna try to get as much life out of them as we can. And uh, yeah, looks like whoever had this before took pretty good care of it. It's pretty clean and chains are in good shape. Looks like it's been greased well. Um, I am gonna put a new tire on it cause there is a lot of wear on the other tire over here. So you can kind of see it and I apologize all this junk here. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, staying here for the winter and in the spring we're gonna make some hay. So when winter comes, things really pile up underneath my awning because, and uh, especially now I've got all sorts of hay equipment that I'm working on here. This is a square baler. It's a Super 68 um, from New Holland. And uh, yeah, there you can see the front of it. It's in pretty good shape. I don't think I'll have to do a lot to it. I'm gonna, probably put a motor on the front of this thing to that mounts uh, right here. It'll mount right here and then it'll drive the uh, flywheel. And that way you can pull it with anything you want. Um, I'm gonna leave everything hooked up so I can still use the PTO as well, but I thought it'd be a fun project to try out. But yeah, once I get all this hay equipment out of here and over to the uh, farm with all the hay, I'll have a lot more space to get my mill back in order because right now it's pretty, pretty crowded. So here's the other piece of hay equipment that I got. It's a, a rake. I think it's uh, Tonuti. It's Japanese, I believe. It's just a five wheel rake. Fits on the back. I didn't get a V rake mainly because most of the fields I have are very long and narrow and I don't have a lot of room for them. So. Um, I'm going to try this out. If I don't like it, I guess we can always try another rake. But this is what we'll be raking with. And it's disassembled at the moment. So I'll be transporting it and um, getting a future video on this. So this is the piece of hay equipment that I'm most excited about. This is a Crone Active Mo 280 or AM, AMR 280. Um, and it's a, got a nine foot cutter bar with five cutting discs there. And it is a 2020 model, I believe. So we'll be cutting with this thing and this will be going on the back of the case. So when the weather gets a little better here, we'll be trying this stuff out and getting some more videos.